Welcome to our video and this video is going to be a part of a series of different videos on different hacker rank problems. These problems are asked uh, from candidates uh, when they're trying to apply for jobs and coding interviews or other um, uh, other places as well. So without further ado, we'll start with the first hacker rank problem that we'll cover in this channel, which is the plus minus problem. Generally speaking, uh, if you want to summarize this problem, Given an array of numbers that you are a list, if you are more familiar with Python, and we're going to solve these problems in Python, so um, uh, just a disclaimer there. So, given an array that you have here, you need to uh, basically uh, uh, with the li with the, this list, you need to identify uh, what numbers are positive, what number is zero, and how many numbers are negative. Right? Once you have these. Uh, you have identified these numbers uh, these numbers then you need to print their ratios uh, 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 on the screen so the first ratio you need to print uh, let me actually here so once we have those numbers so we need to identify how many positive numbers are there and convert that to a decimal uh, that fraction to a decimal value similarly negative numbers are there and how many zeros are there right and then we need to print them like this first the positive number second, the neg negative number third, zero, right? And that's basically how we need to so uh, solve this problem. So once we have that, we can we can successfully solve this problem. So how do we solve this? So again, as I think I mentioned previously, there are three things, uh, uh, three things that we need to do in this problem to solve this, right? There are three aspects of this problem uh, that you need. To to identify and once you've identified those problems of this uh, this, uh, this problem so the first is uh, you need to segregate numbers which are zero which are positive and which are negative right separate them segregate them number two we need to make sure that uh, once we have these uh, values separated, separated, we are able to count these values, right? We're able to count how many of these per values are there. And number three, we need uh, number three, we need to make sure that they are printed in the appropriate order, along with the fact that you know they are. Not only just in appropriate or order, but they are also uh, printed as decimals. So those are these are the three things that we need to do. Solve. These are the three things. Solve problem. These are the three things. If you uh, if you write code to handle these three things, you should be able to solve this problem. So. That is basically how we can solve this problem. Right? We need to identify how many uh, positive numbers are there. Positive numbers, so is zero are there. there. There's just one zero. How many negative numbers are there? If in this example, that once we have that and we count how many of these numbers are there, uh, then we can simply uh, find their decimal values by dividing them with the two. Values and we should uh, then print them out, and then the, then we should have the results. Okay. With that out of the way, let's uh, focus on coding this problem out. So uh, we're going to need to define a function here. First thing here we need to do is uh, basically uh, we um, pretty much uh, basically uh, set up the different. The different variables that are needed to count these uh, problems out. So first, we need to know the length of the array. How do we do that? We uh, find the length of the array using the length function. In this case, again, as Python, we just called an array a list. So, uh, you know, length function find value of array is a list, which is a Python. Array, array and list are the same thing, right? Then uh, we need to basically uh, set up the variables 
to count the positive, negative, and zero values. So count variables. So we have positive count. Positive count is going to be zero. Then we have the negative count which is going to be zero as well. Count zero, that's going to be that out of the way. Let's So after the uh, we've set up the count variables and we know how to then, then we make a simple decision making uh, array which basically uh, checks the different numbers in the array and goes over to all the numbers within the array or list and makes sure that uh, that it uh, sees every number and checks whether it's zero, it's positive or negative, and based on that it adds count to the count variable. So without further ado, let's. Uh, I set that up. So we have, uh, we write these comments out for to make sure that we uh you know uh, uh we basically if somebody else refers to our code they can understand what is happening. So with that, uh, uh, with that point out of the way, let's continue coding. So if number is greater than zero, uh, within the count, then we add one to the positive counter. If a uh, number is less than zero, we add one to the negative counter. And if it's neither positive nor negative, we add count to the zero counter. That out of the way, we need to make sure. Again, we mentioned three things. We have, to, uh, we have, uh, uh, we in this setup, we've also separated positive and negative and counted them at the same time. The third thing is basically printing uh, these values out, right? So let's sort that out. And again, apparently, we need in this question we need to print with uh, within six decimal places, so we set that up as well. So let's get that uh, you know get let that get that pushed ahead. Um, we need we're using formatted strings here to print this value. Before that, actually, I think we can uh, make another separation here. Let's calculate the ratios separately, other than the print statements.
Once that's sorted out, let's uh, change this from positive count to positive ratio. Copy and paste this uh, three times and just change the value and zero ratio. That on this uh, code and see if uh, we are able to solve this problem. Yep, and we were able to solve both test cases of this problem. And that is how you solve uh, the plus minus hacker rank problem. Uh, with that, we're going to wrap this video up. But before we, uh, uh, before we sign off, uh, if you got any value from this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want any problem or any coding question or anything for that matter, if you want to understand anything related to programming, let us know in the comments below and uh, we'll try to see if we can make that happen. With that, we're going to wrap this video up and we'll see you in, this next, in the next video. Thank you.